everyone, it's Miss Patty from the Greenville Library and Poppy and I are here for Toddler Storytime. Should we say hello to everyone, Poppy? All right, how about if you get in your basket and we'll sing our hello song. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Okay, hello everyone. And it's feeling nice and springy outside. And I'm going to read some stories about spring. The first story that I'm going to share with you is called When Spring Comes. And it's by Kevin Henkes and illustrated by Laura Dronzek. And I am reading it with permission from Green Willow Book. Before spring comes, the trees look like little black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, Spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown. But if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun, and it comes with rain. And more rain, and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas of mud in the spring. Before spring, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot, but when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. There will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. You will feel it you will smell it, you will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer.
Well, summer won't be coming for a while, <laughs> so we'll have to enjoy the spring for now. So let's take our scarves out. And if you don't have a scarf, you can use a bandana or a small towel. I have a scarf. What color is my scarf? My scarf is green. Green like the grass that's growing. Green like the leaves on the trees. And green for spring. Okay, let's start. Should we start with our scarves, waving our scarves? We wave our scarves together, together, together. We wave our scarves together because it is fun. We wave them up high. We wave them down low. We wave them in the middle. And then we let them go. <laughs> All right, there's another song that we can do with our scarves. And it goes like this. Rain on the grass. Rain on the trees. Rain on the roof but not on me. Sun on the grass, sun on the trees, sun on the roof, but not on me. All right, let's try that one again. That's a new song. And when we talk about the rain and the sun that comes in the spring, ready? Rain on the grass, rain in the trees, rain on the roof, but not on me. Here comes the sun. Ready for the sun? Sun on the grass, sun in the trees, sun on the roof, but not on me. Yay! Good job, everyone. I have another book to share with you about spring. And this one is called My Spring Robin. And it's by Ann Rockwell. Pictures by Harlow Rockwell and Lizzie Rockwell. And I'm reading this with permission from Simon & Schuster. A robin sang a song for me every day last summer. I liked that robin. A robin is a bird. But in the fall, my robin flew away. My father said it would come back in the spring. So when the spring came, the month is March. And Daddy is pointing out the beginning of spring. When spring came, I went looking for my spring robin. I saw a bee taking honey from a crocus, but I didn't see my robin. I looked into the yellow forsythia bush, but my robin wasn't there. My robin was not sitting high up in the branches of the magnolia tree. In the fern garden behind our outdoor table, fuzzy fiddleheads were sprouting in last year's wet brown leaves. but I didn't see my robin there. I saw a tiny toad. It hopped behind a clump of daffodils to hide from me. I looked high up into the sky to see if my robin was flying back to me. Drops of rain fell on my face and our neighbor's cat ran home.
After the shower, I picked a little bunch of purple violets for my mother. I watched a shiny earthworm wriggle out of the ground. And then I heard it. I heard that song. Cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheerily, cheer up, cheerily. I knew who was singing that song. It was my spring robin. And the robin came back. Some birds fly away for the winter because it's too cold for them here. And then they come back in the spring. And that's the robins are some of those birds. All right, so today for our craft, we're going to make a pretty spring tree. And I've just cut out a tree shape out of some green construction paper but if you have white paper you can use that and you can color the top green and the bottom brown if you want to like the trunk of the tree and I have some tissue paper what I decided to use is some bright pink tissue paper like some blossoms on the tree and but you can use any color tissue paper. You can use yellow, it'd be pretty yellow flowers. Or if you wanna do bright green, like the leaves on your tree in the spring, you can do green. So I just took some, take some glue and put it on my tree and I crumple up some tissue paper and stick it on like a flower. And you can put your pretty flowers or your leaves all over your spring tree. It'll be a nice decoration to hang up for spring. Okay. All right, Poppy. Should we say goodbye to everyone? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Poppy and I will see you next time.